Hi guys, welcome everyone to our channel Dev Town. So today we have a very interesting topic for all of you, which is data visualization. Okay, you may have been familiar with this term before also, but in this video I will tell you about all the part of the data visualization and the advantages. Okay, so now just simply begin with the part. So before going into this topic, I will tell you about some of the things about the data science. So now what we guys do in the data science. So we have a, a raw data. Okay. And we have to get the data like with the help of AI and ML in the understable form. Okay. Suppose we have a data of like 1000. Okay, customer and we are getting a graph like this. So guys, as you can see, it is very much like easy to understand. Like when we are having the loss, when we are having the profit. Okay, so this is why we use data science. And if you may have been familiar with the term data science pipeline. So suppose it is a pipeline. It has many steps and we are getting raw data from here. Okay. And at the end, we are getting the data in the form of like, suppose graph, it can also be a histogram. Okay. So if these steps are included in a pipeline and here is a step which is known as data visualization. Okay, guys, sorry for the handwriting. Okay. So I hope that this thing is very much clear. So why we are learning this data visualization because it is included in our data science pipeline and it is very important for us to know all the steps and part of this data science pipeline. So now guys coming to the part, what are the parts of data visualization and like what is data visualization? So data visualization is the graphical representation of information and data in a pictorial or graphical format guys. Okay. It can be a uh, like this chart also okay it can be a histogram it can be this pie chart in which we are having all the information okay suppose we have 20 percent here 30 percent it can be in any format guys okay we are getting the raw data suppose of the one lakh customer okay and we are getting the data in this format pie chart okay so this is called the data visualization and now i hope that you are like knowing why it is so important for us. Now, what are the parts which are in the data visualization? Okay, so suppose we start from the here. Okay, I hope that it is visible to you guys. Okay, so guys, data visualization has a first two subdivision. And one is numeric and one is categorical, guys. So now what is guys this numeric data now coming to it. So numeric data is like where data generally represents amounts such as height, weight, age person or any like numeric data and guys numeric data is the most easiest form like to understand the data and to get insights from it and this numeric data is also having two subdivisions and the first is continuous and the second is discrete guys okay so now what is this continuous data so the continuous data is data which can be like narrowed or categorized like suppose the height measurement okay we can like make a category and get the data of all the like person we want okay so we can create a category okay and for like discrete data it is not continuous so for example let me give you um, cars for example you can take cars it can be like for any person so in this car category, there will be a Creta also, there will be a BMW also. Okay. So like we are not able to categorize it. So these data are called the discrete data. 
and now coming to the categorical data so now what this categorical data is so categorical data is also known as qualitative data so in this data it generally represent groups it simply consists of categorical variables that are used to represent characteristics guys such as a person weight a person height okay ranking so categorical data visualization is all about like depicting key themes establishing connections okay so now this is further divided into the three parts let me write it on the screen okay so the first is binary guys okay and the second is nominal and the third is let me write it down here which is ordinal data so now coming to the binary data so you guys know that it binary consists of zeros and ones so is this data run on the same logic so this data works on agrees okay or the disagrees so either if we will get the true or we will get the false i hope now this data is clear to you and nominal data classification is based on attributes for example male or female okay or we can say about the religion okay so we can further divide it and this ordinal data classification is based on ordering of information for example we are having a timeline of any person okay so and the process is also guys i hope that the part of this data visualization is all clear to you and now like in what format we get data from here okay from the data visualization so let me show you on the screen guys okay so in the parts so there are many techniques like we can get data like this okay and we can get data like this as i have told earlier about you guys okay we can also get the pie chart so these all are the techniques in which we get the data so as you can see guys it is very much like easy to understand we will just simply understand the data what are the inside just by seeing this figure now some of the like advantages of the data visualization so the first advantage i would say is simple sharing of data okay so guys suppose you are working in any company as a an analyst and you have to like give the insight or tell about the what you you got from the data so it would be very much impossible for you to get to show the all the data of suppose 10000 customers okay so that's why it is very like simple to share the data we can just share data with this graph and apart from it it is a superior method okay now you are getting my words why it is superior i have told you like what are the advantages how easily we analyze the data okay and the third is deals investigations okay so now guys this is a very like trending thing nowadays suppose guys you have 1 lakh rupees and you have to invest in it suppose the crypto it can be or share market also so how you will like see like in which company is profitable you will get this thing by the data okay suppose this graph will be like very much easy to you rather than to see the sale of every single month so in deals investigations like we are using this thing very much and you have seen many apps which are doing this and making a good amount of money in india 
and this thing guys also saves time okay so it is a like very big advantage of it it saves time it is very like you will do a one query and you will get all the charts from the data i hope guys now this thing data visualization is very much clear to you all the parts of data visualization is like clear okay i hope that you like this video and please subscribe to our channel devtown